Welcome back, Meadowbrook. It's Logan. And Jackson. And we'll be your news anchor for this week. First off is the Words of Wisdom with Marcel. Hey, Meadowbrook. It's Marcel with the Words of Wisdom. Did you know that the word character literally means to engrave? People with character have engraved honesty and respect into their daily lives, like musicians engraving soundtracks on a CD. So here's something to think about. With every thought, word, and deed, we are recording, engraving the traits and qualities that will determine our future character. A Greek philosopher by the name of Heraclitus once said, A man's character is his fate. In other words, what you are engraving into your life now will determine your future. As you move through the day, ask yourself, what kind of tracks am I laying down for myself, and where will they lead me? With something to think about, this is Marcel. Make it a great day because the choices matter and the choice is yours. Next up is the Mustang Meetup with Shayna. Hey Matterbrook, this is Shayna with the Mustang Meetup. But this week, we're going to change it up a bit. This week, we're getting out of our chairs and asking you guys what your New Year's resolution is. Well, you might be asking, what's a New Year's resolution? A New Year's resolution is where you make a goal for the following year so you can achieve it. My New Year's resolution is to get more baggy jackets. My New Year's resolution is to get good grades. My goal for next year is to have good grades. To be better at math. My New Year's resolution is to eat more cheeseburgers. Uh, my New Year's resolution is to try hard and dance and do good. That's all for this week's Mustang Meetup, Meadowbrook. Bye! I love learning new words. Do you? Yeah. Next up is the Word Up with Caden. W-O-R-D. Hey, Meadowbrook. This is Caden with the Word Up. The first word is income. The definition of income is the money you earn from working or investments. An example sentence for income is, Caden got a steady income from his marker selling business. The next word is indicate. The definition of indicate is to direct someone's attention to something. An example sentence for indicate is, Dylan decided to indicate Caden's marker selling business. Ha! I finally found you! Sorry, Meadowbrook, gotta run! Bye, Meadowbrook! Upcoming is the character cards with Ben and Adam. Hey, Meadowbrook, today we're gonna go around the quad and ask some students to pick some character cards. Let's go! So here, pick a character card. Shane Hughes. All right, pick a character card. Liam Camore. Yeah. Right. Here, pick a character card. Mateen Rohani. All right, Mateen Rohani, thank you. Want to pick a character card? I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'm going to put it on there anyway. Those who weren't picked will be put in the trimester drawing with pizza and friends. Thanks for showing good character, Meadowbrook. Bye! Next up, we have the Envy Mail and Voice of Kindness with Bree and Oakley. Hey Meadowbrook, it's Bree and Oakley with the MB Mail and Voice of Kindness. And the first letter is, Dear Voice of Kindness, I'd like to say something about my friend Layla. She's an amazing friend from a sixth grader that loves her friends. 
the second letter is Dear Voice of Kindness, I'd like to thank my social studies teacher, Mr. Bass. He makes learning fun. I'm grateful to have him as a teacher from a grateful eighth grader. And the third letter is Dear Voice of Kindness, I would just like to thank Ms. Dressen for not only being my favorite third period, seventh grade science teacher, but being my favorite teacher ever. Thank you for making science one of my favorite classes. You make sure that everyone in class knows that it's a safe place from two of Ms. Dressen's third period students. And the last letter is Dear Voice of Kindness, thank you to Carly and Alyssa for being epic friends from a person. Oh! <laughs> We've received many letters regarding the usage of phones at lunchtime. The vice principals would like to speak with the creators of the petition that was made because they have many questions. They look forward to speaking with you. And the last letter is, can we have a Christmas and Valentine's dance from an eighth grade student? There will be a dance in February, although the theme has not been decided yet. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Emmy Mail and the Voice of Kindness. Now it's time for Delaney with the weekly. No, and wrong one. Oh, now it's time for Delaney. Welcome back, Meadowbrook. I hope you guys all had a great break. The Ronald McDonald House drive we put on in October hit very close to home for one of the students here at our school. They submitted a letter, and I am now here today to read it. I am a seventh grade student here at Meadowbrook. When I was born, I had jaundice, and the doctors found out that my liver was not working. I needed surgery, and when I was two months old, the doctors had to remove half of my liver. I was at the hospital for three months. After my surgery, my mom and I stayed at the Ronald McDonald House. Then the doctor said I needed a liver transplant. The doctors put me on a transplant waiting list. Since my liver was getting worse, I was put at the top of the list. When I was 10, I got my new liver. My family and I spent six months at the Ronald McDonald House. Since my transplant, I've had to go to the hospital for treatment every two months, and I stay at the Ronald McDonald House with my mom. I know that there are other kids at Meadowbrook that have stayed at the Ronald McDonald House. I have a brother or sister who stay there too. The Ronald McDonald House is part of Children's Hospital. It is a place where families need a place to stay together for a long period of time when their child needs hospital treatment. The Ronald McDonald House costs little to nothing to families. The families who stay there sometimes come from far places. The Ronald McDonald House gives kids and their families what they need during their stay, but sometimes there is not enough. It is difficult for families to get even basic supplies and things they need. Some families don't have money either. Sometimes the kids and their families have to stay for a long time. It is the reason why the Ronald McDonald House can always use donations of everyday things, toys, and books. For me, I would like to have stuff to make crafts, dolls, cars, easy to read books, coloring books, stuffed animals. When my mom was staying with me, she realized how difficult it was for families to get essential things like cereal, pasta, cereal bars, soap, toothpaste, body lotion, toothbrushes, hair brushes, soap, shampoo, conditioner, laundry detergent, and everything else that a family needs for everyday use. These families come from far and may not have transportation to go to the store to buy things or they already have a lot of expenses. I hope people can make life easier for the families at the Ronald McDonald House. Thank you. So we know we have already done one of these drives, but we are very inspired to do another one after all we have heard. We will let you guys know when the drive is coming, but it will most likely be in the near future. There will be boxes in the front office just like last time and possibly on the stage in other teachers' classrooms. Thank you for listening. Bye, Meadowbrook. Upcoming, we have ASB. We have a test tomorrow. We can't turn off 2020 like this. We need to study. But I don't know how. Do you guys need help studying? Yes. Yeah. Some things you can do are studying before the test, staying organized, and studying with a friend. 2020 is your year. You guys can do it. Bye, Bye. Meadowbrook. What are you guys doing today? Uh, so today we are doing a lab in Mr. Green's class. And it's where we mix baking soda and vinegar in a bottle, and we shake it, and we put it on a track and see how far it goes, like a rocket. Is this your favorite lab of the year? Definitely. It's really fun. On the scale of 1 to 10, how much did you enjoy this lab? Uh, probably solid 8. It's pretty fun. Uh, we had to take a lot of notes, though. So. How far did your rocket go? Probably, I think mine went like 29 meters. Good morning, Meadowbrook. My name is Emily, and this week I'll be asking students what they did over winter break. Yeah. What did you guys do over winter break? Um, we had a sleepover at my house for my birthday and ate chocolate. <laughs> oh, I'm celebrating Christmas. The best part of my week was seeing my grandparents over the break. I went to Utah. I went to Montana. I got to see my uncle. I opened presents. I'm going to the fire station. What I did over winter break is I went to Ohio to spend Christmas with my grandparents. I went on a ski trip with my family. The best part of my
my break was going to Mammoth. Bye, Meadowbrook. This is a reminder for teachers and students that the mindful moment will be following the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you for watching the Meadowbrook News. Now, please stand, face the flag, put your right hand over your heart, ready, begin. <laughs>